This is by far the coolest iOS 16 battery percentage feature. Let's get started. This video is for people who want to customize their iPhone lock screen like so. They want it to look like this and get custom widget backgrounds, or maybe they want to have a more simpler look with also the outline on the border as well. Or if you want a simple minimalist wallpaper with the date on your lock screen using a custom live activity, or you want your iPhone to look like Android, all of this is possible. All of these are traditional jailbreak tweaks that have basically been converted. So they are on the app store and you do not need a jailbreak. So this works on iOS 16. It's super cool. And I got an insane feature to show y'all too. So this right here is an insane feature. You can see your battery percentage displayed as the wallpaper. So you can see my iPhone's now at like 30%. You could see that's what it's going to look like as your battery drains. So no more, no more looking at this corner of, you know, the battery percentage there. You can see it on your lock screen. So how is all this possible? Well, I created an application called Dark Cube. It will be on the app store. It will be linked below. And this app lets you do all of the following and I will be walking you through it so you can get everything I showed off in this video. So first things first, you want to download the app Dark Cube and I'll be showing you step by step how to get each look and I will have everything time stamped. So first things first, if you want an outline border on your iPhone, all you have to do is simply open up the Dark Hue app and you can create a custom color border wallpaper. Now what makes this really cool is you can choose any background you want. Maybe you want a red background and you could see it looks like that, but you could also change the opacity and you can get some really cool looks like that. So overall pretty cool and make sure you read the instructions on how to save these, but essentially you want to select if you have a thick bezel device so this right here is considered a thick bezel iPhone because it's an iPhone 10. Another example would be any device before the iPhone 12 Pro. It's technically the iPhone 12 Pro is a thin bezel device. So any of the newer iPhones that are thin bezel, you're gonna wanna save like so. So because this is a thick bezel device, we're gonna click on download and we could save this image. And then in order to actually save that image, you could see it's saved to my iPhone. We get that cool little outline. Um, and all you have to do is take a screenshot and then save that screenshot as your wallpaper. But this one's ugly. I actually don't like the way this one looks. I like sticking with the all black because the all black, you get a really cool effect. So that's as much you need to know for the outline effect. Let's move on to cooler and greater things the lock screen. So you might be wondering what this screen does. This screen is very unique. It lets you customize what you want your lock screen to look like. So if you want your lock screen to look like this, then this is the screen you need to use. And all this does is it lets you choose what colors you want your lock screen to be. So maybe you want it to be purple and pink you got a cool gradient and on top of that you can choose you know the darkness of the actual wallpaper itself and you can see that you can get an effect like this i'll show you how but for example maybe you don't want the corners of this to be like a rounded square maybe you want it to be a full-on circle you can do that as well um or you can make it a sharp, you know, square. Do that if you like, but I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. So what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna stretch this out a little bit. So we're just gonna go to width, click it twice, and then we're gonna wanna move this down a bit. So once you get it adjusted where you want, you can go ahead and cl click on download. And remember, this is a thick device that I'm using. So if you're using an iPhone 12 Pro, you would click on thin bezel and then save. But what we're gonna be doing here is, there we go. Here we have our lock screen custom wallpaper we created. Take a screenshot of this 
we're going to use the screenshot as our wallpaper. Now you can see that it's loading, and here's where things get interesting. We're going to be removing the lock screen time, and you can see that all you have to do is use the color picker, and then you can make the time instantly disappear. So how do we make use of this area? Well, all you have to do is click on Apple's clock widget, and uh, we get more options if we do this. Tap on here, and then boom, you can see right there we have our clock widget. But you'll see yours will say like Cupertino or something. You want to click where you live so you can search, you know, wherever the heck you live. You can select that, and the correct time will display. So that's a cool feature of this application for your iPhone. Um, you can see my lock screen now looks cool. And again, all the customization is brought to you with this app Dark Hue. You can literally change the colors to anything you'd like. You can even make the background, you know, special colors that you want. So it looks, has a unique effect. Now, something else I want to show you in terms of the lock screen. This is where we, we can make things pretty unique. So what you're going to want to do is... I can leave the wallpaper linked below for this, but if you do want to get creative and you don't like the wallpapers I've shown off, here's what you can do. Find an iPhone wallpaper that has a solid color up top, but it's still like just a normal looking wallpaper. And what you can do is when you customize it, you can do the exact same thing where you make the lock screen time simply the color of the background so you could see the lock screen time hasn't disappeared but because I made it match the color you can get that effect and I also recommend making the font super thin because some wallpapers have a slight gradient so you just want to make it blend in and now what you can do is this is kind of a lame looking home screen let's make it look cool so we go inside a dark hue and we can add a live activity and now this is the lock screen so if this is what you like, this is pretty cool. No other iPhone that's not jailbroken will ever look like this. So that's pretty dope. And on top of that, I'll be showing y'all that insane battery feature that makes your wallpaper display the battery percentage. And we'll be setting that up next. So this is obviously sped up, but if you want this feature on your iPhone, here's how. And it shows the battery percentage so that way you can see what's going on as a wallpaper rather than as an ugly little icon in the corner. So let's make this a reality. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is the typical choose if it's a thick bezel device or a thin bezel device. In this case, um, I have a thick bezel device. You wanna select on that. You're gonna to wanna to install each of these wallpapers starting with this one for 100%. This wallpaper represents 90%, this one represents 80, 70, 60, 50, and it goes all the way down to 10%. So I'll be back when that's done. All right, so I just finished saving most of the wallpapers. You can see that each one will be set, so that way when my battery percent hits a certain amount, the wallpaper will set. So that way on the home screen, it will indicate your battery level. Here's what you need to do. So what you need to do now is we're going to put this wallpaper in its own album and name it 100%. Then put this wallpaper in its very own album with only one photo and call it 90%. Then each wallpaper, this one, call it 80%. So every wallpaper you save, you need to create a specific album for it. And I'll show you why this is important. So what we're gonna do is my iPhone's, you know, for example, at 75%, this doesn't matter. But basically what you're going to want to do is take one of these images and save it to an album. You can do that for all of them. So you can see I now have two albums on my phone. One is 70%, and this will be the wallpaper that's displayed when my iPhone hits 70%. And the one says 50%. This will be the wallpaper that's displayed when my iPhone hits 50%. But you want to do this for all 10 wallpapers. So you're going to have 10 albums. Now what you want to do is open up siri shortcuts on your iphone here's where things get really cool so this is very simple what we're going to do is create an automation 
that says when this battery level hits 80%, you could see right here, 80%, then what's gonna happen is it's gonna do this action. And this action is basically saying, find this photo in the specific album that I choose so the album I chose would be 70%, for example, the one we just made. And you want to set it to get one photo. You want to turn on a limit. And then we're going to add an action that says set default wallpaper to photos. And then from here, what's going to happen is once this runs, we're going to enable this automation, turn these off. When your iPhone hits 80%, your wallpaper will change to whatever set. So you now need to make an additional automation that says when iPhone's at 70%, we're going to battery level equals, you know, we'll do 50% for this, or yeah, 50. Whatever one matches the wallpaper. And then we're just gonna repeat that process. Now, if you're having a hard time with this, in the actual app, there is an in-depth tutorial that shows you how to do all of this step by step. So if you do wanna know how to do that, that is in the app. So pretty dope. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. And as always, peace.